Hi everybody, I have a quick tutorial here about how to get into the online database at the Durango Public Library. Help you guys out here doing some research by proxy from the classroom. So you're going to need your library card number and uh, specifically on the back you'll need, there's a, a, I don't know, a 15 digit number or something that you'll need. So we'll go to the website here, we'll just Google it. There we go, DurangoPublicLibrary.org and that'll come right up. You'll get right to the website. Uh, it's really tempting to go in here and start entering keywords, but that's a function only if you're on the library server. We are not. We're accessing remotely. So we need to go and do this tab, Research, here, and we'll go to Research Databases. It's going to pull up a bunch of stuff if you scroll down a little bit, uh, but we're going to stick with the General Reference tab. You can explore all this other stuff, but General Reference has a lot of stuff in it. So we'll go to the General Reference tab, and here is the trick. Uh, we want to go to Academic Search Premier right here. However, uh, this again is fu a function of being inside the library on their servers and they like to hide the link uh, for the remote login. So do I need to log in from outside the library? Right, right here, we want to click right there. So we click that and that'll give us a place to put in our library card number. So I'm going to go ahead and put in mine here. And that should give me access to uh, what's called the EBSCO host, which is not a, a database, a series of databases, all these different databases. It's a collection of them, of, uh, of academic journals. So let's see what we get here. And um, let's say we want to look for all your search terms. Well, you can use your Boolean phrase if you like that here. But uh, let's just go for... Um, cats because I like them so much. Cats and dogs. Cats versus dogs. How about we'll do that? And we'll just see what we get. All right. So then we've got all we have all these databases to choose from. Notice here that we have PDF full text. Those are ones where you can access the full article. And we can go down here. There's another full text, and we can just scroll down and look at the titles on you know dog versus cat. And you can play around with all of your search terms uh, all day long if you want here. If you do search options. It should give you full text right here. This is pretty important. If you want to find all the full text articles, you can just click that. And we'll go do our cats and dogs again. And you'll notice that you come up with only full text versions. These are articles that are fully online for free through your library subscription. So enter as many phrases here as you can in your search terms. Anything that uh, makes sense to you. Anything that may lead you in a direction where you want to go and start pulling these full texts. Most of them will you see will have abstracts. You know, you can um, click on here, you know, the contents page. And so you can get to the objective, you know, very quickly on, on, on cat versus dog primordial uh, follicle viability, if that's really what you're into. So hope that helps you guys uh, enjoy your time shopping through the library databases.